Hi guys, welcome to second episode of Building Quarkit. Um, there has been some changes since last episode. Um, I didn't want you guys to be looking at um, badly designed and um, or, or like not really designed at all screen. Uh, that's why I wiped uh, some uh, some simple yet nice looking design. Uh, I was also able to create uh, a logo some like so, some guy with a smiley face pretty much uh i think it's looking quite nice i really like the the colors and uh, yeah we have some nice looking testimonial over here um i didn't do really anything on the back end so uh, that's something that we'll cover today um we are going to start with uh enhancing the user model and creating factories and then uh, we'll start working on the teams page uh, because like teams is like really like the main goal of this app right the collaboration is the key so um, we can't really start without the teams um, I was thinking of some uh, ways we could do this we could create um, it in a way that one user could have many teams but uh, I don't want to make it as complicated uh, unnecessarily because like we have no business requirements so uh, we'll stick with the um, most basic uh, way we can do things then uh, we'll just uh, maybe enhance it later if, if there is um, there is a need for it so yeah uh, let's get started uh, as I said we'll start with um, enhancing the user model to our requirements so uh, let's start with creating a new migration uh, that will be create migration uh, add fields to users table oh yeah it's make migration of course sorry guys uh, i bet you cut that one our migration was created. Uh, let's move on to adding some fields. Uh, so I was thinking like the basic user model has just a name. Uh, I think it would be nice if we could have like a name and a last name. Um, yeah, so let's start with that. Uh, so let's create a string uh, called last name that will be after name. Then we'll create also a string called uh, avatar url i guess it would be a good practice to uh, extract the media um, references to a dedicated class it's like uh, maybe some kind of uh, polymorphic class that would handle this for all uh, our models but uh, as for now let's keep it simple and just store it in the user model and make it nullable then um, it would be nice if users uh, could be um, trashed or soft deleted so let's do that soft delete can we do it yeah we can chain another method so let's create it after the or you know what maybe maybe just just keep it simple um, then we can refactor i guess um, that's all the fields we will need for now um, what can we do now is uh, create a factory for users uh, but as I said in our case one user will be always linked with one team uh, so we would be storing the uh, team ID in users table to do that first we need of course to have the uh, the teams table so let's create a model and migration for it Uh, we'll use the flag mf uh, so this will create a migration of, and factory for us okay our um, migration was created um, so yeah let's think of a team um, hmm. what could we put into the teams table uh, i guess like the obvious thing will be a name uh, because we have to name it somehow uh, so let's start with that um the avatar url or avatar path you know what maybe call it avatar path because it won't really be url 
uh, same here and also make it nullable mm, you know what we could create a slug um, so we wouldn't show the um, hmm. Yeah, let's keep that for now because we are going to just uh, the, the users will just have one team, so uh, there will be no need really for the Slack. We will be not displaying it anywhere. We could create the owner, uh, add the owner ID to the teams table, um, but I guess we will be just using the uh, Spotty permissions uh, and assigning a proper role to the user that created the team um, okay so that looks good um, so now the, the last thing we need to do is uh, add team id to users table and we will create a migration for this so here we'll simply uh, add the, there is a new, uh, actually, a new uh, helper in new Laravel called, called for an ID. Um, this will simply create a big unsigned uh, integer. So, so just a little uh, helper to make things more readable. And we will reference team ID. Uh, we can also uh, create uh, a foreign key constraint that will reference uh, teams uh, so, sorry that will reference id on teams table and maybe just uh, leave it to this so of course uh, in the down uh, we'll need to um, drop column team id uh, not sure if there will be any issues with the foreign key, uh, if we will be just able to drop the column, uh, we'll see uh, as the time goes by. Uh, yeah, and I, I believe I, I have forgotten to uh, make a down migration for this one, so drop, co uh, sorry, drop column, uh, last name, avatar path, and uh, deleted at is there any like drops of oh there is a helper for that so let's let's use it to, to make it more readable okay uh i think this is looking good uh now we can like go to the user model and uh, implement uh, soft deletes mm, add our new fields to fillable I am not really a big fan of fillable. Uh, I would just uh, change it to guarded, uh, set the guarded to empty rate, and every field will be fillable. Uh, yeah, this command can stay. Um, okay, so maybe just run our migrations and see if this works. If we did everything correctly. Yeah, so I had some issue with my uh, database because I was uh, I actually had to change it to to different one uh, because I am creating uh, like different um, instance of WorkIt um, for my own personal use, um, and I, I have just changed the database name so so just uh, just so you guys know. Uh, nevertheless, the migrations went through, uh, everything seems uh, to be working. Uh, what can we do now is go to factories uh, and look at uh, what we have here. So uh, we have a user factory uh, right here. Uh, we'll also add... Uh, oh, that's nice. We can uh, enhance the factory with uh, new fields last name that will be called last name uh, and yeah I, I believe that's that's good for now uh, 
oh we also have to add uh, the team id as this one is required we'll just uh, reference another factory and you know what uh, our model got called teams uh, instead of team we'll change this one and uh, php storm is smart enough to update uh, everywhere it was referenced so just this one place and we'll call create okay so now if we go to our teams factory uh we'll have to populate this one as well um so i believe it's just the name uh we'll just use faker word um to populate the name yep that's all mm, okay next thing uh would be to create a cedar it would be really hard for us to um, test the app if we are to um, set up the proper login details etc for instance if we have a staging server and a production server it would be uh, really uh, pain in the ass uh, <laughs> to set it uh, like to, to create the test data for uh, local use and then for the staging queues uh, that's why uh, we can create a seeder to to just uh, create some fake data for us to, to, to play with. Um, so we can create a seeder using PHP Artisan create seeder. Uh, we'll just, uh, as for now, uh, just create user seeder. Uh, this user seeder will be doing a little bit more than just seeing the users because, uh, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. Of course, it's make seeder. So it should create a new uh, class for us in the seeds directory. Okay, so our seeder was created. Um, let's uh, fill it with some uh, code. So we'll start with creating a team. Uh, we'll use our factories that we have created uh, before. So we'll just create a team uh, with a name of uh, code students that's my company uh, feel free to check our website by the way if you're interested in some uh, in some quality uh, laravel development um, and then like let's sweep a user for uh, myself uh, that's my name just uh, yeah we could like make it generic and just call it a user i guess um, Yes, yeah, so uh, name is Przemek, my last name is uh, Przewódzki. I don't expect you guys to like even try to uh, pronounce uh, my name or my surname. That's why I'm using an alias. Um, and uh, let's populate team ID with uh, team ID. Also to not forget that uh, let's... Uh, create a guard that's in the team so we can use the seeder okay and i guess it's looking uh good uh because uh, like any fields that we didn't uh, pass in uh, in this array will be auto populated with from uh, with the data from a uh, user factory uh, so oh i i believe an uh, an email is uh, an important one so uh, let's let's add that. Uh, I like to keep my email short. So, sorry, uh, example.com. Uh, and yeah, just run it and see if it works. And we got an error. Uh, yeah, target class user seeder does not exist. That happens sometimes. Um, all we need to do is uh, dump the uh, composer dump. It will create new output files and uh, this shouldn't be an issue anymore. Composer cache was uh, regenerated, so we should be able to uh, run our seeder now. Let's see if it works. 
Oh, it didn't again. Unable to locate factory for app model user. Oh. Let me just check something really quick. Okay, I, I believe our user, uh, like we, we did an error last episode and uh, we have uh, set a wrong namespace to our user model. So let me just quickly fix that. Yeah, if this uh, won't work, uh, we should. Okay, it worked. So no issue there. Uh, okay, so let's let's check if if this works. Um, test at example.com password password. So let's get to work. As you can see, guys, we are logged in and everything seems to be working. I will create some basic design behind the scenes. And um, then we will start working on something new next episode. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you guys soon. Bye.